Hi, my name is Ananda Grawala from the University of Calgary. In this video we illustrate and critique a context-aware pill bottle and stand that is designed to remind the elderly about taking their medication. Our overall goal is to understand the problems and prospects of such domestic devices that provide major benefits yet have potentially severe consequences when they fail. The pill stand is placed in the home of the elderly and reminds them when it is time to take a dose. Pill bottles are augmented with an RFID tag which is used to query an XML database for medication information. Each pill bottle has defined ranges of time in which the pills can be taken. During these ranges, the alerts delivered become gradually more apparent. From blinking lights, to audible alerts, to spoken alerts. It is time to take one of these pills. These pills need to be taken with food. When the pill bottle is removed from the stand, the system assumes the user is taking their medication. When medication is about to run out, users are reminded about a refill. Thank you. This medication will run out in two days. Please make a note of it. Adaptive warnings are also delivered to the user if it looks like they might miss a dose. It is time to take one of these pills. Please note that these are antibiotics. If you start to feel better, you should still take the pills until they are completely finished. In the case that they do miss a dose, alerts can be sent to an ambient display remotely located in the home of a loved one. This picture frame can then be used to send a message back to the pill stand. The Touch the picture frame again to stop recording. Dad, did you take your medication? I hope so. Thank you. Message sent. The pill stand announces the arrival of the message. You have been sent a message. Push the button to play. Dad, did you take your medication? I hope so. Care providers or remotely located loved ones can also browse their medication adherence history online. This site is automatically updated by the pill stand. If users are away from the house, they can also get text message reminders on their cell phone. We don't argue that our system is an ideal solution, rather we use it to ground our understanding of general issues surrounding context-aware devices in the domain of the elderly and medication compliance, issues such as heuristic inaccuracy. As with many context-aware devices, end-user intentions and actions are inferred from sensor input. In our case, we assume pills are taken when the bottle is lifted during specific time windows. This heuristic is quite fallible. For example, a user may take too many pills, it is time to take two of these pills, or get distracted and take none. Thank you. Trust also becomes an issue as the elderly may become overly reliant on the device despite its inaccuracies. Devices can be placed in different locations around the home to increase or decrease their salience. Wired devices like ours hinder casual relocation. In addition, devices need to work in harsh settings such as placement in wet areas like kitchen counters. Alerts may become annoying over time, especially false alarms or ones that come at inappropriate times. This may cause users to ignore the system. Alerts need to be clearly understandable, especially for elderly people who are easily confused by ambiguous alerts or by being uncertain about how to respond. There is a fine balance between informing caregivers versus having them intrude excessively into an elderly person's feelings of independence. Remote alerts must be tuned to this relationship. Dad, I know you missed your pills last week. I was just wondering if you took your pills. 